and crit to be those playmakers, looking for the action around the map where you have obviously Fly on his dazzle, looking after No Tail, trying it to get into that stage of the game where he's going to be this, you know, unstoppable late game force of odds. Oh, Lane Moon in trouble and Moon gets the sun strike on point. Moon will start to take the salvage. In fact, crit trying for the first burn. No Tail's actually going to find it on the bottom lane. Action going on globally here. OG with the first blood. Can Newbie find Moon in return? They are trying their best here. Moon's giving them a bit of a workout. And he is going to try and deny himself here to the neutrals. He's not going to be able to do it, though. Oh, Try Chris. finding the kill. And He's Chris rolled actually rolled into this. He may end up giving Newbie a second kill if Hal and Twan could get away with this one. Chains come out, and Newbie will take a second going the way of Hal on the Ember Spirit. Oh, Crit will be regretting that one. One of those mid laners. Uh, he, he reminds me a lot of Fath is that people don't talk about him. Mechanically though, insanely good. That he's not like a he's not like like some 9k MMR player or anything, but he will win his lanes and even lanes that he maybe shouldn't win will do very well. The top moon in a lot of trouble here. The bird coming across Sunray from across the tree line. Newbie taking down another kill on this top lane, punishing Moon for the second time. As well, we're seeing how dealing very well with Moon's aggression. As soon as he tries to go in, just holding him back Whoa, with the, the chains. Smoke mid. See so if they can get the wrap around. Gonna ignore the courage, just go straight for the kill. Sunray onto Miracle, eating through those refraction charges. And Miracle, can he get himself out of this one? Will pop the fairy fire. The bolt charges, will it be enough? Diving forward. He Miracle dodges the dive. Takes it out. Miracle! Oh, his oh. positioning threads the needle there. The way the dive works, he just. Oh, crit. He's coming in to punish this as well. Kaka trying for the TP. Realize it's not gonna work because the stun is available for crit. And he just moves in, lays down the rock. Beats down the bird. He says there's no ghost walk potential and OG even covered their bases by having Moon rotate into the mid lane just in case Newbie showed up with a lot of heroes. Oh, look at this as well, Miracle. He's gonna uh -oh. try and secure himself the rune. He does have backup from Crit coming in. The sun ray though, meaning that Miracle can't hang around to grab it. Regen will be there. But Crit, oh he's on to Kaki, gets up the stun, the slow, the silence as well. Will the damage be there though? And it's not, so Crit has to be careful now. Getting himself away. Kaka dies forward. Mu closing the gap as well. And Crit, can he manage to play his way out of this one? He hasn't got anything else to throw out. Newbie will find the kills. Moon's turned up on the bat rider, trying to chase down the bird kaka will be able to get away as tron is there they'll look to turn this one moon still trying to find his four stacks onto the phoenix it's a hard kill to get he's desperately going for it one more touch will do it and find it but he is going to get punished how turning up with the reaction but moon at the moment he's creating a lot of space wasting a lot of time here for newbie but with the tower hitting down onto him he will get punished for it he may have actually been able to TP out there. I don't know if he totally realized how he didn't actually have the Searing Chains up, but five for a support, not really ideal as a bat rider, but how had to rotate off the lane, came in, used fire at fire remnant, and he can't TP back to lane. Lane again, immediately with the trap, so trying to move in onto Moo, crit, playing it perfectly, Moo, out of mana here as well, not a lot of hope for him until the backup comes through, and here we have it, KP, TPing in, but crit, with the silence, making sure that the Kronos doesn't come out immediately, now it comes out onto Miracle, is the damage there, there's a the bash, the Sun Ray as well, Miracle, will it be safe, flies there, but he hasn't got the mana, the ball charges, keep Miracle alive, then take it down, Moo, they'll turn towards KP! OG! Take two! How? And with the reaction, finds a kill onto Miracle. Remnants up to the high ground, tries to finish off Moon. The flame guard taking him down, but the heal from Fly, the slow from Grit holding back. How? He won't be able to find himself anything else there. And it's a two for one for OG, but they do lose Miracle at the end of it. Let me slow down Miracle's farm with the Sunray spam. He's yeah. not going to be able to get a kill, but nonetheless going to be incredibly annoying. He wants to hit that level 6. Could buy the Tome of XP at 10 minutes and hit level 6 and go oh, for a smoke play, but... Here we go with the setup down bottom, Newbie. They need to have TPs in if they want to have a chance of countering this one. The silence should be there as well in case, and it is. Grit plays it perfectly. That is so good. They time the sleep. They, they take the sleep off as the boulder smash is going through. Meanwhile, Dazzle does get picked off. By an ice blast, it looks like, but the much bigger kill on the void. Uh, a chronosphere into sunstrike. You've got well, no supernova yet. Kaka's not quite there, so it looks like they're going to instead go for the easier kill on the TA. Yeah, here we have it. Wrapping around KP. He's going to jump in immediately, committing the chronosphere. We'll see if there's going to be any kind of save from OG. TPs are coming through, but the pure damage coming down as the head of Miracle. They'll find themselves the kill. Moon's there. No lasso available yet. Yet to skill it here at level eight with a supernova out. KP getting the patches. Moon in a lot of trouble, but Fly gets the grave out. Moon will be able to escape. Oh, Still, Kaka. Oh, the Sunray will get him! Rip turns in. And as you get out the magnetized, can they stop this man TPing out? They can't. He's gone. So OG losing two. Newbie 
won't be punished at all there in that engagement. And sometimes four, sometimes five positions of port. As far as the role he plays, where he's on the five position heroes but gets a lot of farm, he always has these amazing games. His lion last game, we saw it. Another ice blast mid, miracle. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect setup here for Nubia if they can find the follow through. Refraction's gone. Sunstrike will be there as well. It's going to be off the point, but the Sunray, that doesn't miss. Level four Sunray, this early. Naga's being able to free farm the lane, and the jungle has 91 CS already. He's being out farmed by Hal now, who took down the T1 tower, so, as well as being involved in a lot of kills. Immediately jumping in on to Moon. Sunray, Sunstrike, goodbye Sunshine. Another kill for Newbie. I mean, this, this catch potential, you know. It's hanging around for, for a bit of a reaction if OG start to go aggressive once more. Tower incredibly low, they'd love to find that extra bit of gold by getting the final touch OG, but already how? Eyes onto Moon, gets the chains off, and some kind of follow through, we coming through from Fly, and a Moon will be given the backup, here comes the Ancient Iron for an Ice Blast, onto Fly, ramming forward, looking to kill off the Dazzle how he can't quite get it, Sunray flying from to Miracle, and they've lost the TA! Yep. Again, Newbie finding these huge kills, and, and they're not done. Then we move forward. It's a fantastic supernova in the middle of it all. Fly will grave himself. Continue to run. Ow, coming in from the side. He's got the slight and the chains ready at the waiting. Fly brought that incredibly low. Doesn't quite get the latch off here, and Fly will survive. Sunstrike. Who's it going to catch? No one for the time being. So OG will be able to keep the rest alive. Moon's got eyes on Takaka, and he'll move in. Kaka's just going to go for the TP out. He's not going to make it. Flame Break will be there. And Moon just playing with the Firebird. Fire with fire there. And Moon finds the kill. He needed that. I was looking for Moon though. And with the Ice Blast, that might just catch him in. No, it can't quite get him. And with the backup of Crit, can Moon actually get himself away from this one? Time dilation coming through the slows there. But Fly, the backup Miracles there as well. KP holding out for the perfect Chrono. Will he be able to get it off? He should and he does. Two men on the catch of it. Yeah, they've got to get themselves out. Kind of uses it like the Song of the Siren there, just to cover the retreat of Hao, who is very newbie. Looking for a big, big smoke here. Yeah. But at the same time, OG, and they grouped up as four as well. And the Blink also great against the Void. You can, if you're Fast oh, Fingers, miracle. and we're talking about Miracle, you can get and that going to dispel, off. what's the reaction going to be immediately just trying to get themselves out of there. Crit turns around, gets a two-man stun, Hao. Can't quite get the catch off, the roll away is there from Crit. Crit and Fly, they need to run because how he's moving in. KP trying to get close enough to land the Chronosphere. How? Change. Onto two. Sunstrike as well, but it's a little bit too far for Newbie to commit. They're now starting to back up. It's a three man weave as OG. They'll want to fight into this one. Kaka does have a supernova available, but the Lasso's there, but immediately the Chronosphere in reaction. Miracle tries to finish off Kaka. He can't quite do it now. He's got to run. The Ice Blast flying through. The Silence has done the Flame Break. KP brought it incredibly low. Time walks away. He's going to survive for the time being. But the oh, they still get him the Magnetize. It will bring him down. And OG finds two how. Looking for the TP, but Krill with the play. He shoots, he scores. It's a double kill for Crit. Miracle. He's still potentially got eyes looking for more. Moon and Crit are there to back it up. It's just a poor old solo AA. Goodbye, Tuan, as OG take a fourth. Equalizing the scoreboard off now, 12 for 12. Too many wards up. Nubi have de warded the recent ones, but Fly taking a path into the enemy jungle will be looking to get some aggressive vision. If they up. can get how as well. They need Crit to hit a stun or a silence. They'll get it immediately. Immediate silence from Crit. One, two, miracle. Ripping through how on the Amber Spirit. And now this is at a stage as well where Miracle just 300 gold away from the Desolator. Indeed here. And force a game three, but Nubi. They've got that big scary team fight lineup, and that's something oh. they're definitely going to be looking to use with a level two super up now. again. They're looking for Kaka, jumps in with a stun. <laughs> oh, miracle! Again, it's, it's crit. so much damage at this stage. Right. And he's got the global sun strike, so just send like the Ember, Void, and Phoenix this top for a three man smoke. Ow. He's got to be careful. OG know he's there, and they're going to be ready to jump in crit immediately with a stun. The silence in there, we have it again. It really is the crit show. <laughs> this blink dagger this early on is just completely avert it all. They're thinking about Roche, but with Bat right in the neighborhood, I don't even know if OG are going to let this happen. Miracle could theoretically pressure the top lane with his death lane, but he said, straight over that, let's, let's fight Roche, yeah. yeah absolutely, and Anubi know this, so Anubi. We'll look to try and fight outside of the pit. Managed to find a lock onto Miracle. Miracle could be in a bit of trouble with the Sun Ray. The Ice Blast as well. They'll find it. Okay. Huge kill for Newbie there. Yeah. Don't want to have a go of it, Crit. It's so annoying. You, you've got Boulder Smashes, Flame Breaks, all these long-range stuns. 
and annoying nukes just flying in and you can't even punish this. If you're a newbie, you've got to try and jump one of these heroes that keeps throwing these nukes, but an Earth Spirit has a blink. That Rider also has a blink. Now you're not going to catch these heroes. And, and at this rate, Miracle's going to be back on oh, the field. Okay, they've got oh, they've Moon Moon up. thrown up into the Ice it's, Blast, the bat's down. Oh, he picked up a Shadow Blade just for that initiation. I like this from KP. Ow, Talk uh, about how to find these pickoffs. Eyes onto No-Tail. No-Tail's alone here. He needs some help. Has picked up his Altering though. I mean, as we said, the farm 26 minutes in. Radiant Altering Naga. Keeping themselves in the trees, but no one's going to catch out. Either. Bottom lane. I was got to be careful, Moons. They're ready with the catch. Jumps in. Lasso and Crit with the damage. Should be enough to bring him down, and it is indeed. Catching How out just like that. We've seen it so many times. I mean, Moon and Crit, they wanted to do this game. It's a total different story to what we saw in game one. And here we have Miracle. Chipping away at the tier threes. What kind of response? Is Newbie going to give? It's so difficult because you've got Naga Illusions pressuring the mid lane. They're chasing Phoenix around, so they're always kind of keeping tabs of where the Phoenix is going to be. And it's just very reliable, safe damage. Miracle just slowly chipping away at the tier 3 tower, and it's forcing Dying Newbie to make a play. Right? I mean, Miracle just... He's finding this tower on his own, and Newbie, they're just being forced back to the base by No Tails Illusions. Ice Blast won't even land, and Miracle just got in a free tier 3. And now with no Ice Blast, OG, they know that they've got the time to move back in. Just continue to push onto the racks. And Nubi, I think they're just wondering what the heck they can do. Maybe if they can find some sort of a Chrono Sphere. KP, but again, as you said, these illusions with the gems just meaning that KP can't That's find the jump in that he wants supernova. to. Supernova! He used it just so he doesn't die to another illusion. Oh just... my goodness. Nubi are in disarray right now. Their initiation just isn't there with a Shadow Blade into a gem and... Oh, Miracle, looking to move. One, there goes what will be there. KP gets on the Chrono Sphere. Can they take out the tier? But fly with the Shallow Grain, keeping Miracle alive. No tell. Moving into the center of it all. Ice Blast won't catch Miracle. He's still keeping his first time attacking. Crit hits onto the Invoker. The Aegis will be popped. Buy back immediately from move. Trying to get himself back in and hold on this defense. But KP, he's been caught out on the back lines. He'll take down the Void as well. No buyback available for 50 seconds. Now, oh, he's been lassoed in, <laughs> and just like that, Miracle ripping the Ember to shreds. The Snor they'll come out with this, and, and at this stage, Newbie, I mean, game one, they were beating OG around in their base, but this time, OG beat Newbie around in theirs. GG is called. What a turnaround in game two, and I mean, Game 3, Parker, off the back of what we've seen going either way, I don't know how it's going to end up. I mean, this game even started well for Newbie. Their early game pressure on the mid lane with the Phoenix Sunray, they constantly kill Miracle. They had the kills going their way. KP got a bit bullied.